It is a brisk, like 15 degrees outside yeah. and Monday, and we are at the Desert Industries, ready to be thrifting. Here we go. We're gonna see if there's anything good. Hopefully enough, we have a busy week ahead of us, so we're hoping for a one-hit wonder today. All right, so these are like ridiculously cute, but they're a dollar each and they're really tiny. I wish they were like three for a dollar, then I would buy them. Look how cute they are. So we're just here on Saturday and I'm not thinking we'll find a whole lot. Um, these candlesticks are pretty good. A dollar and a dollar, so definitely gonna take those. Sometimes going thrifting is almost like people watching, like, I wonder where this lived before. <laughs> what, what purpose did this shoe serve? I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. I do like this, it looks like it's a lid, so we'll try to find something for it to go on. So I usually buy most candle holders, but that one is weird. I'm actually surprised that Zeb didn't pick it up. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. So I found these. Um, I think they're magnet boards, but they're framed out super cute and already have the hanging hardware. So I'm definitely going to buy them, take them home and maybe change out the color a little bit. There's two. So we spent under 40 bucks. Zeb did manage to bring home one broken giraffe we contemplated not bringing the giraffe home but i have a plan for it i think it can be cool is it going to be farmhouse probably not but it's going to be better than it is it's going to be giraffe house all right so thrift store number two because we did not find enough stuff at the first place all right so i'm coming straight in i actually just picked up some of these the other day and they sold so i'm going to buy all of these and probably the platters not so much the plates and the bowls but I've never seen one with this basket weave before. That's kind of cool. All right, I'm squatting down on the bottom rack and I'm loving this stealth pattern. Also, these dishes are really pretty. So I'm gonna buy all of them. I have no idea if they're worth anything, but sometimes I buy things just because I like them. So I actually had a customer or follower send me a picture of this. They told me they had dropped it off here and I'm not in the market for big furniture, but $125, which I feel like it's priced decently well because it's a good piece, it's pretty. So we said no more clocks, but Riverton is actually a place where I find some of my favorites. So I'm gonna pick up this one and probably this one. I feel like $10 is too much for that one. And we'll see what they look like painted up. All right, so I'm gonna try to get that down. I think more just for display. I don't know what I'm gonna sell on it, but it looks cool. Tucked around this corner is this sweet little candlestick. I'm gonna pick that up and just this little basket. I think that's super cute. I always love egg baskets. All right, slightly obsessed with this chair. $18 is kind of a lot, but I've been looking for a paint project where I can paint the fabric. And I think this is a really good candidate. So I'm gonna pick it up and it should fit in my cart so it won't count as furniture. So I picked this up. I'm not a fan of the stars and it looks like it's missing a nut. That's why this isn't tight but it would be really great for organization. So I'll fix the nut, I'll give it a new paint job, and then it could be used for paint brushes. Okay, so I have way more than Zeb, but, but he doesn't have his phone working well. So I'm going to I'm going to question him about his purchases. What? What's this? This is for me, for milk. For milk, okay. Because I can never find pictures. And that one moves up and down, so you can yeah, make so chocolate you can milk. Cream it. Got it. Do chocolate milk. And then what's this giant or situation? Yeah, I'm on the fence about that. So if you don't like it, I'm gonna put it back because I'm like it's big and it'd be hard to ship. What do you What are you thinking for? Are you thinking like think display? Cool I don't. I don't like, like this. I think it would be cool with like mugs or like little potted plants on it. How much is it? I don't know. It doesn't have a price. Uh, I'm gonna say no just because I don't love all the swirlies. I don't think I can overcome that. Okay. But I don't want to paint it. So you don't want to paint it. No. Well, what do you think about my cart? It's looking pretty good. This is interesting, the way they've carved out this. Display. Like wood? And then this I was thinking for display, and I want to paint the fabric. That's okay. what. I haven't done a painted fabric video in a while. Sounds good. So I'm not buying any more furniture, but I just thought you might like to see how loaded up we are in here. For all you people that can't find good furniture, <laughs> I just like to give you a little, you know, preview of what the Riverton DI has. It's like so much goodness here. I really need to get on top of my furniture projects and then I can come do a little furniture shopping myself. You almost left that. Zeb was like, ooh, look at that. So here is everything fit in the cart. 
I think we did pretty good. I'm still on the fence about that giraffe. I don't know. Comment below. Would you have bought that giraffe? All right. So a couple thrift stores today. We actually might need to hit up one more. We're at about $100 total right now which we usually spend anywhere from 100 to 150 depending on how many small or big items we get. I'm never sad about having to go thrifting more though because it's kind of my happy place. It's like a, ho a hobby, jobby, job, hobby. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for joining us along. Comment below with your favorite thing that we thrifted. Visit jamierayvintage.com if you want to see what we have available. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and thrifting.